you guys. So uh, it's quit raining for the most part. It's here the same day. I uh, just went hunting this morning. 60 degrees here. I think it's January 12th. Kind of crazy the weather. But it did quit raining. Uh, it's still pretty windy out. Uh, sun's finally popping out. But I'm going to jump on the ATV and we're going to run around and pull some cards. Um, I got two cameras out. One's just right here at the bottom. Um, we're on my property. And then we're going to take a uh, trip back through the woods um, to my neighbor's property um, and pull that card as well. Um, I'm going to send you guys along here with me. As you can see here on the four-wheeler, just stuck the GoPro um, on the front. Just nothing fancy. Uh, I use this little coat hanger here set up instead of buying the actual mount. You can see that coat hanger is really cheap. Uh, pretty much goes around anything. Just two bungees on here to uh, help stabilize it. Um, but yeah, so you guys will be riding along. We'll uh, head down here to the first camera, pull it. Um, I'll show you what I'm actually going to use to check them with. Uh, sometimes I'll pull them out on the computer, but I've actually went and got this wild game checker here, which is pretty nice. So you can check them on the run if you don't want to pull cards and bring them back. But uh, yeah, so let's jump on and take a ride. Alright, so just got down here to the camera. Uh, Wild Games Innovation. This is just the uh, cheaper model. It's been working pretty good. Doesn't take a whole lot of blanks. Takes video as well. Um, show you around a little bit down here. Um, this is actually on my property. I've only got a little over an acre and a third. Uh, so there's not a whole lot I can do with the property. Um, this is obviously down along the creek here. Um, let me step back a little bit. Got a feeder up. It's the food plot we put in this year. This is actually the first year I've done a food plot. Um, the plan is after this year, I'm actually going to extend the food plot out wider, probably put some beans or something in as well. Um, all this grass I let grow up obviously didn't come up like I wanted it to. Um, you know, obviously I want it to be as thick as what you can see next door. Uh, so we're going to plant CRP grass, I think, here this year, just to give the deer a little bit of uh, a good feeling when they come in. So I'm getting a lot of nighttime pictures here but not a whole lot of daytime pictures. And I'm gonna come around here and I'll show you kind of why because it's pretty open. Used to mow all this down here, keep it all mowed and trimmed. But you can see it's pretty thick through there and there's the hunting blind we built. Had a lot of dead ash trees right here. You can still see some of the stumps um, that we cut down and actually milled all those boards um, ourselves. And uh, I'll share some pictures with that, but we, uh, built the blind and that's actually where I shot my deer at this year and my daughter shot hers but the plan is this year that opening right there you know the kids play up there it's pretty loud pretty open um, I'm gonna bring in quite a bit of dirt and I'm gonna close that off and put some spruce trees in um, some Norways and completely close that off to seclude it so that way the deer feel comfortable when they come in down here um, you can see they're they're obviously coming pretty heavy you can see here is the trail right there coming in as well as over here there's just real heavy trails coming in they've been eating it quite a bit um, now that the lack of food obviously there's a four-wheeler trail which we're going to jump on the four-wheeler here head in the woods there follow on the creek um, through a bridge in there's where we cross the creek at the bridge we built last year um, but yeah that's about it but you can see not a whole lot of room to work down here but uh gives me my own place to come down quick set up for the kids obviously it's pretty much for the kids keep them involved interested when you have all this food down here bring it here let's jump on the four wheeler and uh head to the next game
We're here at camera number two. Uh, deer feeder up. This is actually where I was hunting up this morning. Uh, you look up, right there is the double stand. Set this up for my daughter. Um, come back here. Unfortunately, it is starting to rain. So I'm gonna make this quick, but this is just an older culvert camera. It does fairly good too. Um, I got a few other mole trees as well, but I just got these two out right now. So I'm gonna pull this card and go ahead and head back to the house because the uh, weather's getting pretty bad. The creek's actually up more now than what it was this morning. Um, so we'll pull these cars and uh, go see what we got.